Ah, Boris is uh, he's figured out how hard it is to uh, deal with the heat, huh? And teach a man to, uh, to uh, light a fire and keep him warm for a day. But if you uh, set fire to a man, he'll be warm for the rest of his life. Gonna call cool bubblegum flavor, could be the best I have ever tasted. Ah, Boris is uh, he's figured out how hard it is to uh, deal with the heat, huh? That's all good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, got the 54 on the climbing bike, Boris on the aero bike. Ah, uh, 52. Just spin to win, man. He said no one ever. <laughs> I have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Got a five hour or something like that bus ride to the, to the race combination. But we just uh, discovered a secret about our bus. You push this button here, it gives you a, a nice massage on the seat. So, Kirgi got a massage view. How does it compare to the nice cute Thai girls massage? Uh, not as good, but uh, my clothes are still on. But you know, I might get them off soon. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to that on the bus ride. That'll keep us entertained. Uh, important to keep the glutes activated on a on a long bus ride like this. So just got Tom getting a good massage here. How's how's your massage going, Tom? Uh, it's good, huh? It's yeah. like a Thai lady walking down my back. There you have it. Through your, uh, through your breakfast here, Tom. It's 5 five forty, but I've been in the bus for five hours now. Getting pretty hungry, so it's got some Milo's. I've got a, just a bag of cereal. Uh, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm making it up as I go, but. Your rating of it out of, out of 10? Not terrible. Probably like. I probably need to put another Milo in there. Driving 15 cars 
drugs come cheap We'll all stay skinny cause we just won't eat And we'll hang out in the coolest bars In the VIP with the movie stars Every good gold digger's gonna wind up there Every playboy bunny with a bleach blonde hair And we'll hide out in the private rooms With the latest dictionary of today's who's who They'll get you anything with that evil smile Everybody's got a drug dealer on speed dial Well, hey, hey I wanna be a rock star Race up to our bus ride last night, we made it. This will be the hottest race in the world this year, as far as we're aware. And looking at previous years of this race, other races, it could be the hottest race ever recorded, like UCI stage race ever, I believe. We're looking at temperatures 43, 44 degrees um, where we're going to be this, later this week. Um, we don't have a single stage that is under 40 degrees. I think the coldest day is 42 degrees. Feels like up to 48 is the, the um, estimate on the weather. Yeah, so it's going to be a cooking one. I've never experienced heat like that. Um, so that's four, five, six degrees hotter than like the hottest Tour de France stage in the last few years. Quite a bit hotter than Tour Down Under, hotter than Doha Worlds. Yeah, it's quite insane. When you walk outside, it just hits you and it's, it's undescribable. I've never been in such hot conditions. I don't think I've ever experienced anything actually genuinely over 40, where the ambient temperature is over 40. So that 43, 44 degrees, a lot of people don't realise that that temperature you see on the weather forecast, that's measured in the shade. So it's a scorching hot day out here, like the sun's beating down, things like that. So by the time you have uh, you have the sun plus 44 degrees or so, it is absolutely insane. Let's see how it goes. Okay, get run us through today's stage. Oh, it's quite hot as you can see, but um, can you see the heat? Yeah, you can see it like it's just radiating from the sun, and as you can see, I'm getting a bit sweaty. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, flat stage, hopefully, a bit of wind kicking up, but yeah, nice. We uh, run into the finish to see if we can get up for the gallop. Your thoughts on today, Tom? There is no thoughts. These like half the peloton don't even have three shots of 200 watts, so I don't know. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, I apologize for Tom being wrong. He's a, the team car for Tour of Thailand. Um, I don't know what UCI standards this meets, but still all good. It's gonna be a hot day. Boris, give us your predictions for the day. Flat? Oh, flat, but I think it's gonna be uncontrolled. Oh yeah, it's quite a zoom, isn't it? I think it's gonna be flat, it's gonna be hard. Well, uncontrolled, so yeah, I don't think it's gonna be just the easy roll around for 130 k. Uh, I do a bad thing. I did 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 a ตัวไทยนี่ที่ตําบอกว่าหน้าปัด <laughs> มีมีมีผมคิดว่ามีมีเปอร์เซ็นต์น้อยมากที่นักกีฬาจะเข้ามามาสำรวจเส้นทางตอนนี้เป็นไทยคอนติครับแถมไม่ได้ไทยคนล
นี่ครับคุมแตงครับผมมีเกือบสิบวินะครับตอนนี้ครับลากลุ่มอยู่ครับดูทัศเส้นโขงซ้ายอีกครั้งหนึ่งครับเราเห็นน้องออมแล้วนะครับวอลุตแตกกระทกแล้วอุ้ยมีล้มนะครับกลางกลุ่มตอนนี้โอ้โหวอลเลนตินเฮ้ยอย่าตัดครับเอาเป็นคอครับตอนนี้คอหลีดให้ลูคัสลูคัสว่าไงครับโอ้โหมีเซนจอดมาด้วยครับอันนี้ครับหลังลูคัสมีทีนกันโนนะครับมี l อลเอ็กซ์แอคชั่นอิสราวุธมีวอลุตแตกกระทกดูว่าจะได้ตายไหมเฮ้ยคันตีเป็นใครครับคันตีโอ้โหเป็นลูคัสคันตีเต้นครับโอ้จริงจริงครับลูคัสครับคาร์กี้ไปในไทยแลนด์วันส์แล้วเขาคิดว่าเขาเป็นคนอิสระบอสรุนแรง Hydration. Okay. Yeah. Water. I drank about uh, six of these when I had anti-doping after the stage. The hottest bike race of my life potentially, and then then you have to go piss on the cuff. So yeah, took a while, but got there in the end. We got you on the on the side angles. <laughs> Pre-bed snack. Just found these in the room. These are paprika, paprika banana chips. So we'll give them a go and see how they taste. These are um, premium local cuisine. Um, I know they're local because I got them from just over there in the corner of the room. Just tastes like chips, to be honest. You wouldn't even know it was banana. Maybe like a slight banana aftertaste, but I'll rate that. I'm gonna. Might be a new addiction. I had a question about uh, what we eat for a race. So starting at breakfast for a 200k day today, you make the best of what you got because the options here are not incredible, let's say that. So first plate, starting off uh, a waffle, some bread, some jam, very bad coffee. But we'll definitely go back for more than that, hopefully get some a little bit more protein later too. All right, round two, we found where the cereal was, hidden away in the corner. You have to be blind to see that, but yeah. Got the world's tiniest bowls here. So yeah, that's that's round two. Still uh, no, uh, doesn't seem to be any fried eggs or omelets or anything like that this morning. Lots of deep fried uh, stuff if you want that though. If you want that for a 200k bike race in the morning. You got black cam? How's the, yeah. how's the deep fried uh, whatever that is? Deep fried dough? Yeah, put a bit of condensed milk on it. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. I might have to go for one of them. <laughs> right, we found the, the actual chef with the eggs just uh, hiding away over here. Cook me some eggs! Right, Tom, you're on the waffles. Talk us through the, the science of uh, this. I woke up five minutes ago. These look nice. So on my plate. Doesn't make a difference. 200 k's, carbs is carbs. Yeah, meanwhile I'm adding honey to my cereal to make sure I get lots of different types of carbs, like extra fructose over glucose, but anyway, <laughs> there you go. Right, so it's breakfast done. Today, 200 k stage. Feels like 44 degrees, I think, uh, the last sort of hour or two hours of the, the stage. Anyway, so you want a reasonably big breakfast before a day like that, but it actually doesn't need to be anything too insane. All you're doing is topping up mostly liver glycogen stores. The muscle glycogen stores, um, you really need to do that yesterday. I'll talk about that in some other time, some other video in more detail. Um, it's actually something I find quite interesting. Um, but anyway, there we go, let's head to it. 200 Ks, flat, bloody hot. We've just found ourselves a, a rival influencer here. k k k k k k k k k k
Well, today we have to sign on early to go on the stage as the, our day of 10 presentation, but it's a uh, little bit of an early morning, but it's a pretty cool place to be and have a quick chance to check it out. Have a look at this. second stage, starting from Sukhothai Historical Park. So as I think I already mentioned, 200k today, um, yeah, feels like 43 degrees later on. So uh, been doing the heat adaptation and things like that, so that helps. But um, the local riders definitely uh, a lot more uh, adapted to it than us. Yeah, you know, it's the old um, teach man to, to uh, light a fire and you keep them warm for a day, so that's us. Been doing some heat adaptation, you get used to the heat for a day. But if you uh, set fire to a man, he'll be warm for the rest of his life. And uh, that's the locals, they're, they're used to being on fire. What are your thoughts on the stage today? <laughs> Looks like there's a small breakaway uh, by various chaser. <laughs> มันต้องหันนะแต่ว่าเราก็ชินด้วยครับ <laughs> ที่ผ่านมาครับทีบีครับเทชบายาเอาไงครับกดสปีดด้วยกด 3 kilometers left to the finish line now, finish Lost line. Lee trying to win the stage. Lost Lee, me deal, man, and qua champs. Winner of stage two of Two of Thailand 2024 goes to Muhammad Naiman Rossi from Taranganu, the Malaysian oh rider. God, a boy, man, do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Tommy, give us your rundown of the stage. If you were to sit outside in that heat for six hours, you'd crack pretty hard. Imagine riding a bike out for six hours. Yeah, that about sums it up. That was that was proper messed up. Yeah, highest temperature I got on my Garmin out there was 45.4, I think I saw at one point. Um, which is just, obviously it's hot, but it, the main problem with that is it's hotter than your core temperature, so even with the wind and everything going over you, you're not actually getting any cooling effect. The, the ambient air is actually heating you up rather than cooling you down, so basically no matter what you do, you can't cool down, so any effort you make, you just get hotter and you basically don't ever get colder, so yeah, that was sort of by the time we rode there, rode home, just a couple of k's and sat around for a few minutes. That was six hours out there and it's, I'd love to weigh myself now and see, um, Six hours forty-four. Six hours forty-four. There you go. Tom's just correcting me. Yeah, I'd love to see how much fluid I lost because that was proper, proper messed up.